Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live trading session today and I'm going to start with Baba because the Chinese market is crashing. Some political news and I'm about to short shorting now. 4,000 shares, it should be a gap and go. When stock starts down 13% like Baba is and then getting close to the lows, failing to move higher, it should break down to a new low. It is my expectation and here we go. I'm up $3,900. First sign of a pullback. It's very early now. Took my partial, left 400 shares, hoping for a continued run, a very classic gap and go. Same as Twitter. Because Twitter started up, it should be a long gap and go. But I missed it. I'm chasing it up and I'm buying right here now 4,000 shares. Now, I don't usually do that, but I trust Twitter to continue higher. Anyway, it does continue higher. I know the risk by chasing a stock up, but... Now it gives me a chance to add. Now look at this very nice pullback from the highs. It's uptrending. The market is uptrending. I'm going to add 2,000 shares right over here. Buying now 6,000 shares long in Twitter. It's not a huge risk. I mean, I'm risking maybe 30 cents or so here. And I'm also looking for a partial profit of around 30 cents. And as the, lo as the stock is continuing to trend higher, I expect it to move to a new high. And um, the idea of buying once it put back down is something that I don't normally do. But again, it's something that is uh, worthwhile doing normally. Now it's at the highs, about to move to a new high right now. And I'm up 1200 shares and $1,200. And I'm taking my partial leaving 2000. Now I left a little bit more than I usually leave because I'm expecting it to continue. But look at the market. The market just came down. The S&P 500 red candle right now suggest that it may come down under the laws and I'm a little bit concerned that's why I took a relatively quick partial in Twitter now take a look at for two for two is down 15 percent it's a classic gap and go shorting here 4,000 shares expecting it to come down now again a stock that is starting with a huge gap down tries to move higher probably fails but look at what happens now it's spiking higher it's a one minute green candle and you never ever move on a spike up look at how quickly this happened maybe 10 seconds maybe less so it just spiked higher and this should be my stop loss right here 3050 which is the highest but i am not moving out for two reasons why i never move out first reason i never move out on a spike so if you have a stop loss in the system a hard stop loss in the system you are not doing the right thing you should be moving out only when you have um, um, I mean um, only when you see the stock getting to your stop loss and manually move out now look at what happens now it fails to move higher it comes down and I'm about to add another 2,000 shares I'm gonna add and I'm adding uh, right at the point where I think it's going to break down under this support, which is now, I'm adding now and I'm short 6,000. So instead of having a losing trade, I just added to a winning trade. It's a fast forward of what happened uh, to Futu and you can see how it comes down and uh, it's being helped with the market. The market is also coming down and I'm up 4 grand, 5 grand, 7 grand, 8 grand. Look at this beautiful, beautiful move and I'm about to take my partial because it's the first real pullback here. 5,600 shares covering now leaving just 400 shares. So this actually became my best trade today. And the reason for that is mainly because I did not move out on a spike. If you have hard stops in the system and the hard stops are there and you don't take in, they do not take into consideration the fact that the stock moved up in a one minute candle. So a spike like this will take you out, will shake you out of a good trade. And again, you never ever do that. And here's my result. You can see that I have a nice winner in BABA, a great trade in FUTU, also a nice uh, trade in Tesla and in Twitter, but a big loser in Meta. So the end result is just over $10,000, one hour of trading. And I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give me a thumb up. Helps my, my channel and more people like you enjoy day trading videos. Now, if you want to subscribe, there's a button right over here. So click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And plenty of links right here below. One of them to the Colmex platform I'm trading. It's a free link to a demo platform. Don't trade your hard-earned money. Be very careful about it because trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money. So start with the demo if you're starting out. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.